Okay, this is a quick start on Amanda. Uh, Amanda can do two main things. Is she can rapidly, you can rapidly DD a stock. Um, and you can also scan for stocks using different criteria. So let's put a symbol in here. Let's do uh, MGLG, which ran recently. And you can just hit enter. You don't have to push this button. And immediately you can see over here to the right, you can see what's been happening with MGLG, okay? And you can see that people have been hammering on the ones and twos back here. Uh, you have 90 days worth of trading data. Um, whoa. All the way back to uh, January 8th. And it's uh, year, month, day. You can see the dollars traded, the price it closed at. Um, high low volume and whether it went up or down. So you can see that they're hammering away at this thing, uh, trying to get the trip ones, trip twos, hammering away until on the 12th she trades 28 times what she usually trades dollar wise, okay, 70 grand. And that's what this factor is. It's the current dollars traded divided by the 20 day average dollars. So if you were to run this some kind of a scan on the 12th, you might, you, this probably would have showed up depending on your parameters and you would have said hmm maybe they're finally going to do this thing and sure enough the next day there she goes she opens it free and runs um, over here on the this is where you can do your DD real quick uh, so you got this stock here you can push the I have talk button and it'll open a new window and show you all the messages on I have for this stock you have to be registered with IHUB to have this work, and then you want to close these windows because it opens a new window. Um, here's no bias filings. Um, it's a nice thing. She has no filings. Um, here's your stock charts. Okay. Close that. Um, this is a nice little button to push. This is Wall Street Resources. It, they always have everything that happens with the stock here, um, even if it's not a filing or if it, even even if it's not news, anything that happens is on here. Like here's green and arrow stocks talking about it. Okay, and uh, so that's a nice little link. Let's close that. And uh, anyway, that's your DD rapid DD. I mean, it gives you a quick overview of what's going on with this thing, and you can go into these DD buttons and, and uh, find out more. Uh, let's hit the scanner real quick. Uh, you've got 12 scans. And uh, the first eight have names, and then the, you got scan eight and scan nine. Now each one of these can be fully changed up here. You can change these parameters, and it'll remember the next day what what you put in. I mean, it'll keep a memory. It'll remember what you what, you, what each scan's at. So you can change any of these scans just because they have names. I gave them names because because uh, like the insider scan, but you you know like the first. Uh, eight have names, the other ones don't, but it doesn't matter because you can change it, okay? Like this is, uh, let's look for a shell scan, for instance. Um, so we're looking for, let's, on this one, we're looking for shells. So we're looking for a price between trip one and uh, 0195, almost two cents. And we're looking for a minimum traded of $99 that day and a max of 15000 Um if you if you push scan, it's going to give you a list, okay, right here that you can copy and paste into a scanner. But you don't have to push scan. That scan will give you the list. What the nice thing is is the first symbol in the database is A. So let's go to A, symbol A, which just happens to be the first one. It's not in the database, but you can see the chart up here on it. It's Agilent. But what you can do now is you can push this down button. And it'll stop at the first stock that meets this criteria. And it'll also, like, I have shells only checked, and I also have chapter 11 checked. This means that out of all these shells that meet this, I mean, out of all the stocks that meet this, it's only going to show me the shells, and it's only going to show me the ones that are in chapter 11. Okay? And the first one is NSTLQ. If I push down again, I've got another one, WLKNQ, and I think that's it. That's the only two out there. ZZZ is the last uh, stop in the database. So 
if I pr let's say I, I just want to look at shells, but I, I, I want to look at all of them, not just the chapter 11 ones. I'm at the end already at Z, so I can push up. And it's going to show me the first stock. It's, this happens to be a Q stock. Um, I can push up again. Now this one, okay, here's WAXS. That's a shell. It's between uh, between one and, and two cents, and I could push the I, okay W A I could push the I have talk button now and see if people are talking about it, and uh, nobody really is. Looks like this was on the 13th of March, and I close this window. But what I what's nice is you can immediately see over here, you can see what's been happening with this stock trading wise. And you can see that it's getting a hit, bam, bam, a little bit here, there. Nothing really spectacular. Um, it did have 13 times normal on Friday. So 500 bucks, what are you going to do? Um, there's a lot of uh, noise. But I, this is one of my favorite scans. It's the insider scan. And what I'm looking for is, is leaked information, okay? You know, it's maybe a shell that's going to do a reverse merge or, or something else. And I'm looking for things that usually don't have any activity, but all of a sudden they do. Like, I'm looking for something that has at least 11 times the normal vo volume dollar-wise. So I can go to the top of my database or the bottom. Um, and I can push the down button and I can go through these one at a time, okay? Here's the first one, Kagi. Now, if you look over here, you can see that Kagi has. Eh, it looks like something's happening here. You know, I mean, it looks like the, the interest is up. Okay. Now, um, on the 12th, it looks like is when you would have been clued in on this. Okay. This would have showed up on the 12th. Okay because it has this factor of 38 and then on my scan parameters I'm looking for anything higher than 11 so this would have popped up and I actually went down that day but you'll see that the next day days bam up she goes so that would have been interesting and uh, go back to your iHub talk button on Kagi oh look at that it's a Jolly Roger um, and you can see all the messages and people have already perked up on this I mean this is all new messages from five May 16th. So basically that's it real quick. We can push the down button again. We'll go to the next one, EMWW. And down here uh, at the bottom people can put in notes, comments, and there's a lot of them. Um, if you have a comment you can put it in there. But this is just a quick start just to get you uh, going on it. And there's a lot of other crap but it's really not that complicated. Um, basically it's just a way to find stocks like the other day I was looking for, uh, I was using scan 8, I was using it for a uh, Q scan. I was looking from 1 to 1, uh, 1 to 10, the traded 50 minimum. Um, let's do a down on that. There's not that many of them. There's one FTUSQ. Actually there's a lot. Well, not that many. So you can see how, how Bob, where we're going here. We went from F to H on the symbols. And, uh, yeah, this is pretty good parameters because we're not getting too many of them. There's not too many of them to look at. Look, this is PTBTQ. We can go to IHUB, see if anybody's talking about it. And we got a couple of messages here on it. So it's just a r real fast way to look at stuff and check it out. And over here you can see what, uh, what's been happening with that. Not much, but it's up 147% on $57. <laughs> So that's a quick overview of how this thing works. Uh, you can change these, and you can. What this does is it limit. It'll only show you the cues, okay? Oh, that's what we we're doing. Never mind. But let's say we're looking for shells, shells that are also cues only. So out of these that meet this criteria, you're gonna only you only want to look at shells that are cues. Let's see if there are any going down. Yep, there's one. WLNQ. It's a shell. It's bankrupt got an AS of 40, OS of 20. This is put in by us. Um, uh, it's not for every stock. A lot of stocks will have this, but not all of them. Because this is, we have to enter this crap. I'm 
try to figure out a way to import that. And if we go up, we can look at the next one. If there is another one, nope, we're at the top of the database. So there's only one stock that satisfy this criteria, okay? We're down at the bottom, which is uh, WLTN. If you want to get a list, um, let's say we want to get a list of them to put in a streamer, push the scan button, and over here you'll see a list. You can copy and paste this into uh, into a streamer or something. That's what the scan button's for, to show you all of them. Anyway, basically that's it. Okay, thanks. Bye.